What's up guys, Lotte here bringing us another episode of Clash of Clans, video of Clash of Clans, I don't know why I said episode, but we are back and we're gonna test out and mess with the new, um, basically the new witches and new balloons. So you guys see here we have, do have our little we loon strategy with our witches. How many do we have? We have 10 witches, 15 balloons, a couple wall breakers, and 17 archers. So also off camera when I went, I searched Twitter and everything, they did change all the like troop models. That's why they all look amazing. They honestly they look crazy. So we're going to try to do two raids today. Um, we have two already, we got this one and we got a second one already trained up and ready to rock. So we just boosted everything because I'm going to try to just um, work offline, well off camera and just do a lot of stuff. And look at this. I logged in. I'm like, oh my god, we finally got our first 2016 Christmas tree. And honestly, it looks cool. A lot of people were saying, um, well, not that it didn't look good, but it was different. But of course, it's going to be different. It's New Year. I like the orange stripe that's going all around it. It's different from the first one. I think this is 14. And then this one's 2015. So honestly, I'm thinking, I'm going to play and I'm always I'm going to keep everything on the base like all the decoration items until the base cannot no longer function and honestly it's getting there because this one spawned here and if there's the only one that spawns in here i'm gonna leave it because we're gonna have to wait wait a while to see if we get m multiple because honestly i'll be okay with getting at least two or three but if we get more than four or five that's gonna be amazing so yeah let's get right into the raids so let's go in here we do have a shield this is costing us four hours so uh, what was it? The balloons attack faster, and witches are stronger. I think I I have no time to pull up the, the patch notes and stuff. So I think that's what it was. I know it was like balloons attack faster, which is gonna help out a lot. So let's see what we could do. Is their sweeper is pointing down, and not to the right, and the other one's pointing to the left. So he's really at a disadvantage in this one. But I'm not really feeling feeling too confident attacking it. And also there's other new things that they added like um things with the builders new ways that they're used like to recommend you stuff so i'll show you guys that after the raid which is honestly is pretty cool so let's just attack this easy raid i know it's gonna be easy not uh, honestly not really much of a waste of elixir if we could get a three star because he has a lot of loot so we do have four let's see if we could, we're not gonna be able to take it out with two never able to so Let's put this on here down the middle. Take out the mortar. And then we're just gonna use the last one here on this wizard tower to decrease our chances of dying. Could we take it out? We're so close to taking them out. So how did I do this? I think I think I just spammed the balloons at first. As much as I can. Um but yeah, yeah. Once they're distracted, we let's see. Put the haste ball inside. Put the wall breakers just so they could, of course, break the walls in there. And then witches start spawning in the witches in the back. And, of course, uh, king, the archers are for clean, kind of more cleanup at the same time. And, oh my god, they actually have a dragon in the clan castle with some archers. So, we're going to have to put some archers and stuff down on both sides. This is a bit dangerous since our king will easily go down if we're not careful. So we got 32, 34%. We could probably, we will possibly get this two star, especially with the witches. But our king nearly died, and their dragon is still up. Come on, take him out, take him out. King is gonna go down, mainly because of the dragon. All we really need, oh, a lot of the witches actually died right there, but we mainly need the elixir from this. If we could get the two star, that would be amazing. But I thought we we're gonna get a two star. Um. Oh, Queen's ability right here, fifty-eight percent, sixty percent. So they got fourteen-hour shield. Got some, got them doing work. Honestly, look at that. They're actually surrounding the base. They actually might be able to take out those two mortars, and if they do, that town hall is going to come down pretty easily, as long as they keep spawning in skeletons. So Queen's going in. She has three witches backing up. There's two witches up here, and all the ones on top. Actually, there's one right here soloing the town hall, which is insane. So we might actually see a two star rocking in here. That bomb tower is actually up. Oh no, giant bomb. Ooh, the queen's about to go down. But the bomb tower could not reach it. So we're actually safe right here. One mortar is still up. We got 28 seconds. And could the town hall go down in 28 seconds? 
we will see right here boom town hall goes down queen goes down 81 percent and the dark elixir is all we really need to take at the end we still got two strong witches oh we have one witch more than half health surprisingly will she move yes yeah, she moved on time look at all those skeletons that's insane come on take take out the mortar yes mortars out Basically, no hope out here. We have one, one witch, the solo witch that survived with 85%. We didn't get the, oh, we actually did manage to get the 100% loot bonus with some t 10 trophies, 248,000 elixir, which is actually going to help us. So we actually got a good, um, what's it called? We profited from that because this armor takes up 200, no, it takes, actually no, yeah, we profited a lot, which is didn't profit as much dark elixir as we needed, basically half of it, so. We have an army set right here again. Um, this actually we're gonna train, train up our, train up, train up our old army again, the Valk, Valkyrie army, just so we can start pushing with that because that actually helped a lot, especially when taking out Expo. So let's let's do one more raid. This is gonna take off five hours. I think this is the end of our shield with this one. If not, we actually get lucky. But we need one more star for our star bonus, which is amazing. So what where are we gonna get? This one's not really focused on, I don't know, depends. Will we get a base that we, we're going to get good amount of trophies and an actual positive elixir? So that we don't like basically lose elixir in the attack? We'll see, we'll see. Because we got a good amount of elixir first. Ooh, something actually, f oh our king. Oh my god, I didn't even notice we didn't have our king. That was the sound of our king actually finishing. So... Let's see. That might have messed us up with our shield, but that's fine. Why? Why have a? Sh why worry about a shield when you know you're gonna be attacking for the rest of the not day, but you guys know what I mean. If you guys are trophy pushing, don't really think about your shield. If you really worried about your shield, then don't be trophy pushing, cause it doesn't matter at that point. Cause if you're trophy pushing, unless you're really high up and you really need to get offline or something, use the guard was a two hour guard for 10 gems and if you don't have enough and you know you're not gonna play until the next day or a couple hours later do the shield honestly that's why i used to do I, before the guards were in there i put one day shields two day shields even seven day shields if i didn't want to get destroyed knowing that i just want to grind stuff out but we're not finding any really easy bases which sucks honestly this one's a bit easier level uh, level 2 queen, level 9 king. His air defenses are properly spread out. No. I'm going to try to find out. Slightly easier base than that. That's just how I play, honestly. I don't go for the bases I know I will benefit from. Well, I do. But I don't go for bases that I know are like equivalent to mine or stronger. Because I know I will not be able to take them out. And I don't try. Because I know I won't be able to do anything. So, this one seems like a logical one. Probably attack from the bottom to get that. Actually, we go attack from the top up here. Up here. They got one air defense and we're actually clear for it. But where is the air sweeper? Air sweeper's pointing down to where our troops are. So, this is actually a good one right here. So, drop two right here. See how much damage that does. Of course, it, ne it never takes out, it ne usually, never takes it out with the with two. It's actually known to take... Oh, we actually were able to take out the mortar too, so... Air defenses, no matter what, I think there are always three lightning um, spells. Not, it's not that it sucks, but that's how it's coded in, and honestly, it makes it more fair, because... Or else you will be able to take out two light... Two um, air defenses, but I think after a certain level... Certain level lightning spell, with certain level... Um, air defenses you actually take it out with two which is honestly a little bit weird but it's I guess it's just beneficial for everything else so let's put a couple witches down save some and put some archers down with them so that's what we should have done king queen behind which is going to start to push from here and they're actually clearing out a good amount of defenses quick look at that they're actually dropped them down quick and they actually just rush in like crazy so I would say they do attack faster because we got a lot of defenses down quicker than we usually do. So let's put down the rest of our troops. And good thing king and queen are actually going towards the middle with a bunch of queen 
queens, uh, witches. There's a big army right here. We got only one mortar still on the base, but that's good. Look at all those skeletons rising around the sides. Town hall's gonna go down pretty easily. Um, we might lose a couple of witches and stuff here because of this mortar, but our our king um, will actually be able to rush in pretty quickly. So let's see. Those skeletons are basically their saviors because one goes on, one spawns in. And ooh, the their defenses are actually taking out our queens pretty quickly, but we're actually good right here. His king's about to die. How many hits? Boom, his goes down first and us. The queen's protected by a lot of witches, which is good, but let's see. Most of the witches are going down because of the because of the cannon and archer towers. Which kind of sucks, so it's basically just up to our archer queen to tank everything. So, her ability, spawn in her archers, take out the wizard tower. That wizard tower is doing a lot of damage to us. Take that out. Oh, could we actually survive this? Please tell me we could. No. And yes. Boom. So, right here is actually everything safe until we get down. Because she is nearly dead. No other troops on the base. Everything's cleared out. She's just actually taking the loot that we need right here. Getting all that elixir. And all that percentage. We got 85%. How, how much? How high could we, could we get to 90? That's all we need. Probably. Oh my god. We're actually very close. Will this be the 2%? No. Oh my god. We went down. We could have gotten 90%. We left them with 60,000 elixir. But we actually. Actually. It wasn't really beneficial. Only thing we got good. Was the 13 trophies. And the star bonus. Which kind of recovers. From everything we lost. And that. The star bonus. Gives us all the elixir that we needed. So, how are we at? We're at 2294. So, we're almost at 2300. So, what are we ranked at? We're at ranked 32. We went up 15 spots. We have fifth, We have 15 defenses and 24 attacks, which is nice. So, we're getting towards Crystal 1, honestly. We're getting there quick. We don't play as much, but we get there quick when I play. So, this is what I was talking about. Builders. I can't zoom into it because it's not zoom up. Zoom in the ball unless we zoom into the actual base. But suggest the upgrades. It tells you what you need to upgrade and how many of those upgrades you have. So you see spring traps. We have three spring traps for a million. Two two skeleton traps for 1.3. Four air bombs for 1.5. Six bombs for 1.5. And three spring traps for 1.5. Which is, the I think, level three to four. So it's pretty cool that it actually shows you exactly how many you need to upgrade with. How much you need. So... We basically need to save up 3 million just to get those 3 spring traps and so on and so forth. So we're going to actually do that. Put this into it. Load up to level 3. We have almost half a million gold left. But we'll probably get that in the next raid. Which we're not going to do on camera. We're going to push as much as I can. See if we get a bit closer to Crystal 1 League. If we could it will be amazing because we're so close to Masters. We're what, like three to 400 away. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like down below. Comment what you want to see future videos and what what attacks you guys want me to do in future videos. And if you made it this far, of course, hit that like button and subscribe. If you haven't reached more content on the channel. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.